for an Easter escape. Join us as we uncover new experiences and unwind in a relaxing location near Chennai. What better way to unwind than by indulging in some freshly cooked seafood delicacies prepared with love and care. Since you got a glimpse, what are you waiting for? Let's crack on with it! As we arrived at Alampare House, our gracious host Anjali had a special treat in store for us. A scenic boat ride through the Buckingham Canal to a nearby island. Cruising through the Buckingham Canal was like stepping into a postcard with birds chirping along the banks and lush greenery all around. After about 15 minutes of soaking in the scenery and snapping a few photographs, we pulled up to this gorgeous little island. Stepping onto the island, I was captivated by its beauty and the stunning sunrise. It was a perfect moment to reconnect with nature. Gopal Swami says the backwaters flows out for six hours and then for next six hours, water keeps coming in. The place where we are standing now is Pannapit Island. This place is completely secluded and is free of any disturbance as only selected guests are allowed access here. In this island, you get to see a variety of birds. As I explored the island, I found beauty in every corner, from the calm water reflecting the sunlight to the vibrant sea. Anjali's brother Aditya discovered the perfect way to relax and unwind through the practice of yoga. After taking in the sights and sounds of our surroundings, it was time to satisfy our rumbling stomachs with a mini breakfast. I'm going to have this lovely sandwich made by Anjali with this beautiful view. Pure bliss! As it was time to head back to the boat, Aditya started chatting about oysters he had spotted nearby. You see, so these are like some oyster shells and uh, it's available in this water in the shallow area only. And you'll have these uh, mostly fisher women. Huh. They, they go underground, underwater huh. and they pick up these shells and they sort of put it in the basket. They come out and then they break it and break just it. take out the meat. And I think it's mainly exported here. Oh. Mm. And they just leave the shell here. Yeah. Shell is also very environmentally friendly, you know, this is like some calcium thing. Okay. Piquing everyone's curiosity, Aditya, ever the adventurous one, decided to give them a try. Okay, he's going to try it. Yeah. Natural, very nice. We are at the local fish auction area. So let's find out what are the different kinds of fish they have here. Come on. So what we see here is fresh anchovies or in Tamil it's called Nethali. See? After the fish market, we freshened up and took a stroll through the Alampare house. Welcome to Alampari House.
In the meanwhile, Anjali prepared a yummy breakfast for us and we happily indulged in the delicious bread. Today we have Viri Malar who runs a catering business and she's an amazing cook. She's going to show us some fantastic recipes. So let's get introduced to Viri Malar. Viri Malar, thank you so much for coming. What is the first dish that uh, we are going to do? Tuna pepper gravy. So today we are going to make tuna pepper gravy. That's the first dish. Take a clay pot. Add 3 tablespoons of groundnut oil, 1 tablespoon mustard seeds, 1 tablespoon chopped garlic, 2 sliced green chilies, 2 big onions chopped, 3 chopped tomatoes, 2 teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Keep sauteing till the raw smell goes. Add curry leaves. One spoon turmeric powder and one and a half tablespoon chili powder. Okay. Cut the tuna fish into small pieces. And add one cup of water and cook it. Salt, right? Cover and cook. So now we are going to open this. Uh, this is just after five minutes. Now we are going to add certain spices. One teaspoon cumin powder. Okay. One teaspoon pepper powder. Fresh fennel seeds with your palm and add it. Super. Cover. Cook for five minutes. Okay. After five minutes, sprinkle some coriander leaves. In another pot, add water, add salt, uh, add a uh, little turmeric powder to this water. Half teaspoon turmeric powder. Add 200 grams of tuna fish. Cook the fish for about 15 minutes in low flame. Once the tuna is cooked, shred it. Now what we are going to do is basically going to shred the fish pieces into smaller pieces, bite-sized pieces basically. Add 2 small chopped onions, 2 teaspoon chopped garlic, 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 1 green chilli, curry leaves, 1 and a half teaspoon cumin powder, 1 tablespoon pepper powder, 1 tablespoon fish masala powder. Mix everything really well. Heat oil. Add 1 teaspoon mustard seeds, curry leaves. Then add the shredded fish mixture. Keep sauteing till the fish pieces are nicely brown. Make sure to keep the fire in low flame. Our delicious traditional coastal dishes are ready to be savoured. Get ready for our upcoming special Easter episode. Oh, you come to me. Anjali, please come. Hi. Hi. Join us for Easter lunch, thrilling adventures and discovering cool sights. Stay tuned for all the fun. <laughs>